Hey guys, I'm David and welcome to Out of Box Collector where we unbox and review different kinds of collectibles. It's been a while since I've unboxed and reviewed a Demon Slayer figure. Finally, I have another figure to share to you guys. This is Inusuke Shishibira Ban Presto figure. Since they announced this figure, I was really looking forward to getting it and now I have the figure. So I got this figure with the Zenitsu Sepia version but I'll be reviewing Zenitsu next time. So we'll be concentrating on Inusuke. So anyway, I'm really excited to see what the figure looks like. So let's unbox the figure. So this is the figure. This is Inusuke. I mean, I'm really excited to see what the figure looks like. So this is the front. So you'll see the Van Presto and Bandai logos. This is the side. It shows Inusuke on another angle. This is the back. So you'll see him and of course the black part here. This is the other side. So as you can see, there's a figure A and a figure B. So A is Zenitsu in Sepia version. So this is what we have right now. This is Enusuke. So of course the top has three security seals and the bottom has three security seals. So let's open the box. So it comes in a typical band presto figure packaging. So it says B. Okay, that's okay. You can pull out the figure from the bottom. And let's put that aside. And okay, so let's be careful and not. Okay, so this is what we get. So we've got the head, the body, his two swords, and the base. So let's open the packaging. So this is the head. Looks good. So this is the body. Hmm, it looks really nice. The scot so far is good. I'm really liking it. So his two swords are inside his uh, sheath. So you won't be able to take it out. And it comes with a typical base. This is what we get from the box. So let's put them all together. All you have to do is put the head on the body. So you just have to slide it in like so. And okay, it's a bit tight, but there you go. The part looks good. And let's put his sword. So it only goes one way. So you can see that there's a notch there at the peg, and it shows that part right there in the hole on his waist. And all you have to do is slip it in like so. Okay, it's a bit tight. Okay, there you go. And let's put the other one. So it's just a simple peg. Let's put it in there and slide it in. Okay, so far the figure looks good. And the peg on this figure is on his foot, which uh, I'm really not a fan of, but it's okay. I wish that the peg would have been on the base itself and then the host will be on his foot so all you have to do is slide it in it only goes one way so let's put it in like so oops the sword fell so let's take a closer look at the figure so this is the figure this is inusuke and so far i'm really loving the figure it looks really great and i'll show you the 360 view of the figure first and i'm really loving the sculpt and the paint of this figure. In a bit, I'll show you a closer look of the figure. So there you go. There's the 360 view of the figure. Let's take a closer look at the head. Okay, so far the head looks really good. The sculpt of it looks great. You can actually see the way they sculpted the fur on his boar mask. And they really and they painted it real well. Uh, the pink of the ears of the boar. And of course, the tusks and the nose and the eyes are painted really well. So it's actually shiny and it's in blue. And it looks really nice. I'm really liking the sculpt of this. His pose is in a standing stance. And I like this fur on his waist. I, I, I don't know what it's called, but it looks really good. It's painted really well. And of course, his pants looks really good too and it's in blue it's 
actually painted quite nicely also it doesn't have the painted shadows on it but it still looks great his legs looks good so you can still see some fur on his makeshift uh boots i'm not sure if it's boots or what but you can really see the fur cupped on his on his legs so it looks like real fur and the details on his toes looks good his legs looks good and this figure looks really nice so that's his there's his hand so you can see his, how well sculpted his back is and of course his sword uh, his sword is in his sheet so unfortunately we'll, we won't be able to see his custom swords i guess they'll i hope they release it in another figure of inusuke so we'll be able to see how nice his swords are but uh, he has two swords one on the left and then the right it's sculpted really well but i was hoping for it to be out of the sheath so anyway it's still a great figure all in all i'm very happy with the inusuke figure i really love the sculpt it looks absolutely great the details of the texture of his boar mask looks absolutely awesome and of course his uh i don't know what they call this uh part the one in his face uh, looks great the texture of it is top notch and even his the texture on his uh, legs looks awesome uh, anyway it's a fantastic figure uh, if you can find one in stores right now uh, go get one because i've seen some people sell this for triple the price so i hope you guys get this uh, on srp or uh, i hope you pre-order this one because it's a great figure it looks great with the others and it scales very well and yeah it's a fantastic figure so that's it for me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. Uh, we'll really appreciate it if you guys uh, click that subscribe button below. You can follow us on Instagram and Facebook if you want to see what we're up to. And uh, yeah, I'm David once again. Thank you very much for watching. And remember to unbox your toys!